Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today we're reviewing the newest cigar from Hoya de Nicaragua. This is the Hoya Silver. As you can see, I've already lit it. That's because of technical difficulties, and this is my only sample. But let's talk about the cigar a minute. It uses an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, a San Andreas Mexican binder, and Nicaraguan filler. It comes in four sizes, Corona, Ultra, which is six and a quarter by 46, Robusto, and today's choice, the Toro, six by 52. This is the fourth installment to the Hoya series. Now, before I lit the scar, here's what the foot looked like for your density. Now the initial flavors I got at Light Up were a nice sharp sweet orange citrus with brown sugar. Quite a bit of nutmeg attached to it to give it a little earthiness. A lot of unsweetened chocolate and an earthy black coffee there was black pepper noted at a seven and those were your initial flavors so the time has been running and it is correct i shall be back with the uh, first third uh, thoughts shortly Well, I'm right here at the first third, and the flavors are very much like I described before. The nutmeg is a creamy nutmeg, relatively smooth and creamy, and it is very much mixed right in with that orange citrus and the brown sugar. The chocolate notes are somewhat subtle, but they're unsweetened, so that's makes them even less noticeable and then the earthy black coffee the finish is sort of a nutmeg and cream with a few dribbles of chocolate and some nice lingering black pepper medium bodied at this point the cigar is, is pretty good for the first third, I'm going to be a little reserved, but I'm going to give it a 90 at the first third point. So I want to see how it develops, if it does, and what happens next. Well, we're finished with the second third. And... The nutmeg has become a little less intrusive. You get a lot more of the sweet orange citrus, and it's very, very sweet. And brown sugar adds a little bit of sweetness even more. So the cigar improved for me. Medium to full body. The finish is a very thick finish. It's really nutmeg, very thick, creamy nutmeg with chocolate now, and a very nice lingering black pepper. The cigar improved for me. I'm bumming it up to a 91 for the second third. So uh, I really like the improvement. I hope it continues. Let's see what the final third brings. to the end so let's wrap it up the chocolate notes and the nutmeg came out a lot in the end here in the final third you still had your nice sweet orange citrus but but it was matched or a little overmatched probably equaled probably not overmatched probably equaled by the uh, chocolate and the um, nutmeg 
and you know at times i get more sort of really chocolate chocolate is more of a dry cocoa but um an earthly black coffee had just made a nice base but you didn't really notice it medium to full bodied finished unchanged the cigar sort of had the best showing in the middle uh, second third for the final third i would drop it back down to a 90. my impressions were it was a 90. so uh averaging it out you get a 90.33 so we're going to give an overall score of 90. And i believe that's where it belongs so there you have it the new hoya silver toro 90.